There aren't many maneuvers required on the instrument check ride or on an instrument proficiency check, but one of the ones you are responsible for is unusual attitude recoveries. Disorientation is one of the main dangers of flight and instrument conditions. Without reference to the horizon, our bodies can signal to the brain that we're in a turn when we're level or that we're pitched up instead of down. We train hard to ignore the sensations of the body and rely on our instruments, and that's what unusual attitude recovery is all about. There are two unusual attitudes. To simulate them, our instructor takes the controls and has us close our eyes, even while still wearing the foggles or other view-limiting device. After a short period of maneuvering the aircraft around, during which time we should lose spatial awareness and not know what attitude the aircraft is in, we'll be told to open our eyes. The best thing to do first is to look at the airspeed indicator, as this will be an indication of if we're going up or down. So we open our eyes and see a high and climbing airspeed. We're in a spiraling descent. We should bring power idle, then level the wings, then slowly pitch up to the horizon. Once back in straight and level flight, we'll allow the speed to come back down to cruise and return power to normal and resume normal flight. The order we do the recovery is very important. We want to first reduce power to idle. Our biggest concern in a spiraling descent is an overspeed event. Next, we want to bring wings level. We don't want to pitch first for level horizon. With the wings banked and at a high speed, pitching up will load up the aircraft and risk an aerodynamic stall. It's once the wings are level that we can go ahead and pitch up to level off. Now we'll go back to eyes closed and have the instructor maneuver us around a bit. The next unusual attitude will be a banked ascent. We open our eyes and the speed is decreasing towards stall. We need to first increase power to full, then pitch down to decrease angle of attack, and then bring wings level. We've reversed the order of leveling wings and pitch here for the same reason. With the nose up, bringing wings level first and then pitching down will put large amounts of negative load on the wings. Also, it's important we get that angle of attack low to prevent imminent stall by pitching down. You'll practice these recoveries a few times until you're comfortable with them, and you'll demonstrate them on your check ride. They could be scary, but this is one instance where chair flying the recovery a few times can make this feel like second nature when you're in the cockpit.